Welcome back, everybody, to The Art of Doing. This is part two of my epic coop build. Um, check out uh, part one. I'll leave a link up above and down in the description. Please give me a comment, a subscribe, and a like, and stay tuned for more action. back everybody to the art of doing where we seek to inspire you to practice doing new and different things discover new passions and explore new curiosities let's get back to our coop build so we're going to be building five walls I've got four exterior walls and then there's going to be one interior wall to separate some storage space on the far side two of these walls are going to be the exact same so we're going to build those first get those out of the way nice and easy then the other three walls are going to have some uh, some details to them. Let's get to it. So these are going to be the top and the bottom of these walls. Um, they're full eight foot walls, but don't forget that we've got a wall, say a wall comes in this way. We've also got a wall coming in that way. So we have to take off the width of a two by four. So it's not a full eight foot. And I'm gonna be marking these studs at two, four, and six feet. And I'm just gonna transfer them all onto one at the same time. Just drill them out, screw them together. And we'll be using two and a half inch deck screws. Must have measured one wrong. Let me pop this one out. Some of you might ask why I'm using deck screws when I could be using nails, and this is the reason. I'm not a carpenter. Um, deck screws are stronger, but they also let me to fix my mistakes a lot quicker. Okay, so I've numbered out the walls to make it easier for me. That was wall three and five. They are exactly the same, so it's nice and easy. Five is this interior wall here. Uh, wall three is the front wall leading out into the run. So those are very simple walls. Wall one is going to be this guy, and this is going to have the clean out doors and the main barn doors. That's going to be a wide open space, and I'll show you that one now. Again, I'm just going to mark both of these at the same time. Um, the only interior stud is going to be two feet on center. So I'm going to mark three quarters of an inch back for the start of the stud. boards are pretty warped. I'm just going to screw them in out of, uh, out of water and I need to tack down that, that outside corner just a little bit. Okay. One looks a little weird, but um, I'm using this extra bracing. I'm going to have a big barn door on this side and I want a lot of extra meat here. This section is going to be on that far section that's going to be with the storage area. 
And again, it doesn't make too much sense as we're looking at it now, but it'll it'll all come together in a bit. Be wicked. Okay, everybody, this one's wall four. We're getting more and more interesting as we go. This one's gonna have three doors. It's gonna go on that storage side. And you'll see the reason why the three doors later on in the uh, in the shoots. Um, this is all the cross studs we're gonna have. Let's put this one together. Okay, folks, this is the last wall that we're going to do. This is wall number two. It's going on this side. It's going to have the egg boxes in it. It's already marked out. I'm going to have some regular size cross studs, and then I'm going to box out the egg boxes in the middle. Let's get it. and measured the last couple of pieces for this last wall. Let's throw it together. And I measured these too long. Okay, I've got this all dry fit together, but before I screwed it all down, I wanted to show you what I was doing here. This would be the normal um, stud spots. I'm going to interrupt this whole thing with a row of nesting boxes in here. So this is the bottom support for the nesting boxes. I put in a pair of jack studs to hold up this double stud to bear all this weight so it wouldn't sag in the middle here and disperse all this weight. All right, let me get this all buttoned up and we'll move on. I'm gonna use three and a half inch deck screws to go through the, uh, the two studs into the supports. All right, all these walls are done. Let's throw them up, see if they fit as deadly as I think they're going to. In, they should stay. I'm going to start fastening them down. Before I screw everything in, I just want to stop and say, dead move. It's so perfectly. I'm so happy with this. Let me uh, let me start throwing in a million screws. See you on the other side. so far please give me a thumbs up and share this with your friends well, I think this is a good place to stop it for now we'll be back please leave me a comment below let me know if I messed anything up if there's something you would have liked to have seen and uh, what type of project you want to see us get into next thanks for staying with me let's always remember to practice kindness practice humility and practice compassion thanks for staying with me and practice Yard. Click to subscribe up there. Some good videos to watch over here. Thanks, everybody.